I re- this is a strong statement, but I've got to say it. I am convinced the majority of people that are up this morning in churches across this country are universalist. And a universalist believes everyone's going to go to heaven. You say, oh, no, preacher, I believe in hell, but you don't believe anyone's going there. You for sure don't believe your family's going there. You can be married to someone that's lived ungodly for 50 years and you're still convinced because they went to church 52 years ago, they're going to heaven. And I'm telling you, the majority of people that go to church in this country this morning are universalists that teach in the end, everyone's going to heaven. Jesus said, more people will go to hell than go to heaven, so someone's going. And it's not just for Hitler. It's not just for these wicked, infamous, horrible leaders that we read about. It's for all people who have never put their faith in Jesus Christ. And it's not that people are inherently good. We're spiritually blind. And no matter how hard we try to watch, talk to someone or argue with someone, when you're blind, you simply cannot see. And the Bible says, watch this in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, that the God of this world has blinded the minds of those who believe not. Stop making excuses for your children. Stop making excuses for your family because you want to keep your pride intact. Admit openly to God they're spiritually blind and the reason they can't do better is they don't have the indwelling power to do better. The only way that any of us can do right is not because we're better than anyone else. It's because of the divine nature of God in us. And I'm just telling you, if you're saved, every once in a while, Jesus is going to come out. Parents, swallow your pride today. Get on the altar and cry out to God for the spiritual blindness of your kids and stop making excuses for them. It's not that they're just sick. It's not that they're just going through a stage. They need their eyes open and their heart open to the light of the gospel. And this man that's blind is a picture to everyone outside of Jesus Christ. Spiritual blindness, you cannot see sin You cannot see the reality. You can try to reason intellectually all day long, but until the Lord opens the heart through the light of the gospel, you'll never see, you'll never understand, you'll never be able to get it. It'll be absolute foolishness to you. You are as foolish trying to convince a lost man about spiritual things as you are trying to describe the color blue to someone that's never been able to see. 